Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Generation 1! In the last episode, we evicted Team Rocket from Silphco and Saffron City as a whole, and this time, we're going to be seeing everything we can do in Saffron City now that Team Rocket has been removed. Heal your Pokemon, Pokemon Center, thanks. I forgot you can read the sign, I just... I don't know. Something in my brain said, you gotta read that. So, first off, on the street that has Silphco on it, we'll walk on the actual sidewalk like normal people for once. Uh, even though there is no sidewalk on the other side. Yeah, Team Rocket is gone! It's safe to go out again! I think I talked to you in the last episode. I'm recording this about an hour after that. Uh, my notes say there is a house next door to Silphco? But that does not appear to be the case. So, I guess I'll look for what I was trying to say. Maybe I met Mr. Psychic's house, but I know I collected that TM at the right point. There is a house up here in Gen 3, but there's not here. I flew here on my Pidgeot when I read about Sylph. It's already over. I missed the media action. The baby. That is what it said. Pokemart. This Pokemart does not really sell anything new except Hyper Potions and Max Repels. Hyper Potions, I believe... I don't believe, I know for a fact. Uh, restore 200 HP. So it's the best potion we have access to at the moment. Max Repels, I believe... I don't believe, I know for a fact. Keep Pokemon away for 250 steps. Super Repels are more cost-effective, so I would recommend those instead, even if it is more annoying to have to go in the menu more often. Uh, otherwise, that's all that's new here. We still have enough healing items, I think. I didn't use many in Silphco. Yeah, we're good. We are doing good on money, though. We're over 100,000 in the bank right now. I've looked around for what I could possibly be mean by house next door to Silphco, and there is nothing. You beat Team Rocket all alone? That's amazing! AMAZING! As Malice would put it. This house. Oh, maybe this is the house I meant. Karuku. That's not what you said. Cram full of Pokemon books. Didn't mean to read that. Thank you for your writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. Why are you saying what you're writing out loud? I was given a PP up as a gift. It's used for increasing the PP of techniques. The copycat is cute. I'm getting her a Poké doll. Okay, uh... I could have sworn this lady had... Well, we we can tell by context clues this is the lady that the guy who was writing a letter in Vermilion City was mailing a letter to. Uh, this is his girlfriend, but... Who is this gentleman? Alright. Nothing much there. We did get a clue from the dialogue in there, but nothing we actually need to worry about quite yet. My daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. You have a Chansey. That's incredible. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry is earned her the nickname Copycat around here. This is a rare Pokémon. Huh? It's only a doll. That sucks. Hi! Do you like Pokémon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking? But that's my favorite hobby! So those are kind of confirmed lines from the protagonist. This is an actual Doduo. Mirror, mirror on the wall! Who is the fairest one of all? So Doduo apparently canonically has the ability to talk like a parrot. This is a rare Pokemon. No, it's not. It's only a doll. And I believe this is the same, but we can't read it because for some reason it's on the wall tile. There's also a PC up here that we can use. I... Never mind, we can't use it. My secrets! Skill mimicry, hobby, collecting dolls, favorite Pokemon, Clefairy. So we've heard a lot of clues that if we were to give her a Poké doll, something good might happen. So let's go all the way to Celadon City to get her a Poké doll. It's not actually that long a walk to Saffron City, but it is fun to complain. We made it back with a Poké doll in hand. We dip back under a hundred thousand, but that's fine. A hundred thousand? Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh, you're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking? But that's my favorite hobby. Oh wow, a Poke Doll! For me? Thank you! You can have this then! TM31. 
TM31 contains my favorite, Mimic. Use it on a good Pokemon. Mimic isn't a very good move. Basically what it does is it copies the move of the opponent that the opponent last uses and adds it to the user's move set with only 5 PP. This move sucks. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting something. My notes say that on her desk, there's a nugget. It's a good thing I actually read my notes. It's not bolded or anything, so I didn't even really think about it, but yeah, worth picking that up. Nuggets are great. I'm depositing items in the PC here. I'm actually going to deposit the Master Ball just so I don't accidentally use it. That is a useful item to have whenever we actually get to the item duplication glitch in this game. Went ahead and deposited a bunch of items I don't need, because I realized I never actually did that after Sylph. People should be flocking back to Saffron now. I don't like it when people back up like that. I know they do it when they're, like, moving away on the same frame you start talking to them, but... It's just a little freaky looking. With that done, we have seen everything in Saffron City. This is supposed to be the largest city in the Kanto region. Celadon has way more buildings. It's only called the biggest city in Kanto because of Sylphco. Yeah, I... I don't know. I don't like that this is so frequently called the largest city in the region. But we do have the gym to go through. Yo, champ in making! Sabrina's Pokemon use powerful psychic power instead of moves? What? Fighting Pokemon are weak against psychic Pokemon. They get cream before they can even aim a punch. That's true, so do pretty much every other type of Pokemon. Winning trainers Aiden, as always. This gym uses wart panels in the same way as, uh, Sylphco, and there's trainers that are all completely optional. If you want to know the quickest way to get to Sabrina, just take the warp panels in a counterclockwise order. You will get to Sabrina really quickly and all the trainers are easily avoidable. I'm going to fight everyone in here because one of them has interesting dialogue, believe it or not. So, yeah. You know the secret of getting through. I, I mean, okay. Let me be frank. The psychic type is overpowered. Uh, it's been said before, and it will be said again a billion times. I think it's a little bit overblown. Normal is, like, an equally good type in Generation 1, but Psychic is the one everyone has memories of being overpowered, largely because of the anime making it appear overpowered, and just generally, Psychic types in this game being incredibly bulky because of their high special stats. We're seeing Slowbro for the first time here. Sprite is terrifying in this game. <laughs> but Hikat manages to luckily take it out. And grow to level 38. I'm leading with Hikat because I know Hikat is going to be absolutely useless against the gym leader. I lost my concentration. There used to be two Pokemon gyms in Saffron. The fighting dojo next door lost its gym status when we went and creamed them. Okay. I don't like that they keep using that word choice, but, uh... Okay, there's that statement, as fact this time. You and I, our Pokémon shall fight! It's true. Oh! Channelers! Okay. Using ghost types! I genuinely thought we were never gonna see a ghost type again outside of Pokémon Tower in, like, one boss fight in the future. Uh... I mean, that's fine. It's going to be just as easy to take out as the Pokemon in Pokemon Tower were. So I've said in the past that uh, Swords Dance on Pokemon is good, but uh, don't really count on pairing it with Slash. There's a reason for that. I've been saying that because uh, critical hits don't actually account to boost to a Pokemon's own stats. I realize I never actually specified at least on that, at least not in any meaningful capacity, so... Just gonna try to be a little more specific about that here. Sabrina is younger than I, but I respect her. That's good. It's a rare quality in old, in old people these days. Chandler wants to fight. Another Ghastly. Is this a psychic gym or not? 
Continuing on. Another channeler. She doesn't have the dialogue I want. This guy might. I know it's a male trainer who says what I want to see. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You wanna- you wanna see Sabrina, I can tell. I don't think you need psychic power to be able to tell that, but I really love the psychic sprite in this game. I don't know what psychics have to do with wearing lab coats. I, I don't think that's like a psychic trait, but I don't know. It makes their sprite look cool as hell, so I'm I'll, I'm like completely fine with it. See, getting an example of Slowbro's massive special stat here, Mega Drain did nothing comparatively to like what it would do to a Slowpoke, at least. Good critical hit, though. Is that his only Pokemon? It is. Okay. Ah! That's right. I used telepathy to read your mind. No, you did not. <laughs> I think this is the guy. Does your- does our unseen power scare you? Not yours, specifically. One trainer in here's unseen power will scare me. Never mind, your unseen power is suddenly very scary to me. Kadabra's a scary guy. It can't go to level 39 from beating this guy's slowpoke. Ah, that'll stop me. With my guaranteed crits and you at 1 HP. Ryan grew to level 38, beating this guy's second Kadabra. I never foresaw this. Psychic Pokemon fear only ghosts and bugs. Liar! That line is the justification for everyone saying the ghost type not affecting psychic types is a bug or an oversight. I think that's just... Like, I don't know. I don't think it's an oversight. So... His line isn't true. Ghost isn't super effective on Psychic, and even if it was, Lick is the only normal damaging ghost move, but... Okay, I cannot find any source that provides proof about whether or not the interactions between Ghost and Psychic are a bug or just a poor design, and bad writing for the specific trainer. The anime is a source that I've seen pointed to, but... The anime tends not to be accurate. Uh, see, for example, Aim for the Horn, where Pikachu knocks out a Rhydon with Thunderbolt by aiming at its horn, or the battle with Brock in the anime, where Ash beats Onyx by activating the sprinkler system and then using Thunderbolt. There's, like, no example of the anime actually giving a damn about what the games say, in the original season at least, as far as type effectiveness goes, so... I don't know. It's just weird. Went ahead and healed off any damage we received here, and now we're just going to go through the gym normally. I have seen what I wanted to see. I believe it would just be this one, and then we're there? Or this one? Or this one? No? Okay, I know how I messed up, but I messed up really badly. <laughs> Uh, somehow I made it to Sabrina anyway, so we'll- we'll take it. That's fine. <laughs> Switched Annabelle into the lead, and I'm ready. I think. I hope. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Sabrina, for someone who dislikes fighting, you sure have a whip and more Pokemon than every other gym leader we fought so far. Kadabra. Kadabra is level 38 Psychic type, knowing the moves Disable, Psybeam, Recover, and Psychic. She also has one Hyper Potion per Pokemon, used 25% of the time when they are at 10% HP or lower. I could set up with Swords Dance, but I... I know for a fact this Kadabra outspeeds, and Psychic will do a lot of damage. 
Please don't disable Earthquake. Okay, I can live with disabling Slash. Earthquake is just generally a better option with the same type attack bonus. Okay, Cadaver's down. That's promising. And Annabelle grew to level 38. That's also promising. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is level 37, Psychic type, known the moves Confusion, Barrier, Light Screen, and Double Slap. This seems like the perfect opportunity to start setting up. Light Screen isn't going to do anything against Annabelle. Sword Stance is not only going to boost the attack, but also reapply the badge boost, so... As long as Annabelle doesn't level up, which she won't because she just did, Sword Stance is increasing every stat except Special every time we use it. It's used Barrier once, and it's probably going to keep using it, so... We're just going to use Earthquake now while we're technically plus two against this thing. And that should easily knock out with the badge boost as well. Okay. Venomoth. Venomoth is level 38, bug poison type, knowing the moves Poison Powder, Leech Life, Stun Spore, and Psybeam. Why doesn't she have like a Hypno or a Drowsy even? Why Venomoth? I don't know, I don't care. Rock Slide should one shot after two Swords Dances. Easily. As a little scared, Venomoth would be faster, but... Nope. Annabelle's doing great here. Alakazam is her final Pokémon, level 43, Psychic type, knowing the moves Psybeam, Recover, Psywave, and Reflect. It doesn't have Psychic, which is an odd choice, but Psybeam could still do decent damage. It's using Reflect. I don't know if that will actually do enough when we're at plus four to actually do any meaningful, like, damage against Earthquake's damage. Yeah, no. Good job, Annabelle. I was expecting Ryan to have, like, a moment in that battle, but no. Annabelle just never got hit. <laughs> Maybe she does dislike fighting. I'm shocked. But a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. The Marsh Badge makes Pokémon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokémon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Not entirely true, that only applies to traded Pokémon in this generation. Just don't raise your Pokémon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. It's propaganda, she's just trying to get me not to battle. TM46 is Psywave, it uses powerful psychic waves to inflict damage. We'll go over that in a second, but in Pokemon Ye well, a second for me, it'll probably be longer for you, but anyway, in Pokemon Yellow... I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Sabrina wants to fight, and she still has a whip! Leading with Abra, level 50, psychic type, knowing Flash. This is just the silliest little guy, and I have a silly little move that's basically going to allow Lapras to actually beat this Abra. First, accuracy checks are completely null and void now that we've used an X accuracy. We cannot miss. That means this Abra is basically free EXP for Lapras since it literally cannot attack. I don't know why I even bothered putting it to sleep, but since Abra has a very high special stat and we are only level 16, this is gonna take a while. It's fine though, it's worth it for hopefully getting Lapras at least semi caught up. He's just a sleepy little guy. In a sleepy little world. So, Sabrina just used an X Defend on this Abra. For some reason it was changed, so instead of a Hyper Potion for each of her Pokémon, she has an X Defend per for each of her Pokémon, which... Actually, thinking about it, that's good, because an X Defend isn't going to do anything to make her Pokémon less frail, and... All of her Pokémon are level 50 or higher, which... I mean, in it's already ridiculous that they're... <laughs> Their stats were increased to that extent. Uh, so yeah, I will I will gladly take them not being able to get their HP back. 
Finally took down Abra. Let's see what Lapras grows to. Only level 17, of course. That was a level 50 Pokemon game. If this was black and white, that there would be hell to pay if I only got one level from that. Kadabra is level 50, Psychic type, knowing the move Psychic, Recover, Kinesis, and Psy Wave. That is a pretty huge upgrade, and still level 50, by the way. So I have no idea... Oh, there's Kinesis. I, you know how I feel about that move. I have no idea why they decided to make her Pokémon be level 50. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's just completely unbalanced. They're making her way too strong for the sake of being strong. I don't know. It it just seems so, like, obviously bad as far as design goes, and I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just a serial complainer, but it's annoying to me. My main plan here is to stack up rests with Snorlax and then hopefully take out her Pokémon using Body Slam. We do have the chance to paralyze them as well, which I don't think would make Snorlax faster because of how fast the Abra family is, but... I don't know, it's the best I got. She's using Recover without even needing it, so... She's just flexing. Luckily, Snorlax's attack stat is very high, so I will take that. Especially with the lowered accuracy. Alakazam is her final Pokémon. Level 50, Psychic-type, known the move Psychic, Psy Wave, Reflect, and Recover. Still has Psy Wave, which is probably going to do more damage than Psychic at this rate. She's still going for Recover. And we one-shot that... It's because of the badge boost. I literally explained badge boosts in this episode and I forgot about them. <laughs> I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. What is that sound effect when I get the badge in both games? Is she punching me? The Marsh Badge makes Pokémon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokémon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokémon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. And it's just Psywave. Which we'll go over right now in Pokémon Blue version. Our reward for this gym, as Sabrina said, is TM46, which teaches Psywave. Psywave is a little bit silly. The way it works is it inflicts a random amount of damage between one and one and a half times the user's level. But, because of the way this move draws the number used to calculate damages, damage, not damages, but whatever, it's completely broken in multiplayer, causing the games to desynchronize as the target receives zero damage on the opponent's game, while the user's side keeps generating random numbers until it produces one between one and one and a half times the user's level. The game also freezes if a level 0, level 1, or level 171 Pokémon uses this move, but that's not possible in normal gameplay as level 2 is the lowest level that you can catch a Pokémon and Pokémon stop gaining experience at level 100. The move's awful, but the glitch is interesting. <laughs> With Sabrina defeated in both games, we're going ahead and use Ducks to fly back to Fuchsia City. With Sabrina defeated, we've done pretty much everything I want to do on the mainland of Kanto for now, so... Next time on Pokémon Generation 1... We are going to be taking off from Route 19 using Surf and beginning to see what there is to do out on the open sea. Sea Route 19, Fuchsia City to Seafoam Islands. See you guys then.